Hey everybody, Chris here from Varsity Gaming. Today I wanted to make a video talking to you guys about the channel through 2016 and also talking about new changes coming forward. So 2016 was a really big year for the channel. There was a lot of growth, a lot of new people coming in, and just a lot of new content to the channel that we hadn't really thought of making before, but decided to go into and it has worked out really well. So I'm going to pull up the YouTube analytics to give you guys an idea of how the channel grew over 2016 and how's that comparing to 2017 so far. So as you can see in 2016 alone, the channel got about 5.8 million views, which compared to its lifetime total is about 60% of its total views in one year. And then on top of that, the watch time was 31 and a half million minutes. Pretty crazy. And then the number a lot of people care about is the subscriber count. We grew by 31,000 subscribers. So at the beginning of 2016, the channel was sitting at about 15,000, maybe a little less. A lot of the growth from the channel came from the last, I guess, quarter or last four months of the year when I put out Operator Videos versus Reality. That video was a huge success. I still can't understand how it became so big because when I made the video, I assumed it would be like, oh yeah, this is going to be a great 20,000 view video. It turned out to be, actually, it's almost reaching 2 million views now. It's at 1.92 as of this recording, which is just unbelievable for me to think of. Besides those big videos, I'm still going to be uploading Let's Plays every single day. I've been getting on the habit of it ever since roughly right before the new year. I decided to upload one video every day as opposed to doing one Siege video on Sunday and then like two or three during the week. I just said, fuck it, I'll do one every single day. And I've been man managing to stay on top of that since then. Personally, I think it's a much better approach to the channel because it does bring in a lot more content for you guys to watch. And it also lets people know that I'm not just a Siege channel because I have maintained since the beginning that I'm not being locked down to one game. Although I stream it a lot, it's because I enjoy it. I do not want to only make Siege content. And with all these new changes, we are also going to be doing a redesign. So if you came to the channel today, you probably noticed, hey, it looks a little different. I'll go through it on the screen here so you guys can see. And in case if you haven't already looked at the channel, here's your chance to see it. So this will be the banner on the top of the channel page. But yeah, so the main design of the channel now is going to be two shades of blue, dark blue and light blue, and then very simplistic fonts. The fonts aren't set in stone. We might change it depending on what we're marketing. Um, I'm going to be releasing a shirt next week, which you can look forward to a video on that. And the fonts might be different on the shirt just because the fonts using that we've used right here, I find don't match on the shirt or don't look good on a shirt. So we might change that. This is the general design. Here we have the outro for the videos, the end of the stream, like thanks for watching thing. And this is the new logo. This is what we'll be using to brand the channel. The reason for a new logo is I found that the VG is very hard to market. It's hard to market two letters with a specific font. It's much easier to market a specific logo and a design. And here we have the stream offline. And you can see the general theme is just the very simplistic two shades of blue and the font in the middle. So it's nothing huge, but it is very different for the colors. And I know a lot of people like the red, but red is just a very hard color to market and very hard to make into a brand. And before I forget to mention that redesign was made by the mod and chat cat and who also has her own Twitch channel, little cat big world. So you can go give her a follow and check out her Twitch channel there. She streams there every once in a while. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the community. So I've been asked a lot, a lot, a lot in the past about subs playing with us, subs, like sub days, what happened to them? We used to do them back in April and May, way back then, actually even earlier than that, I think. But I've been looking into it and I've been looking into ways to make it work. So I have found what I believe will be a good way to bring people in is to make one stream day a week dedicated to playing with subs and followers. That means every Saturday, it's going to be called Sub Saturday or Follower Saturday, I don't care. And I'm going to let you guys join us to play. What that means is I'll be playing with like one or two of the guys in the squad and then everyone else in the community can join us. If we have a lot of people who want to play, maybe we'll play some custom games, but we'll try to keep it to ranked and casual just so people can have the experience of playing with us online. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the community Discord. So for the longest time, me and the guys have been using my own private Discord as our area to talk and communicate when we're playing and streaming. And now I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up to you guys. 
This will give you guys a way to directly communicate with us and talk to us about what you think can be done to improve the channel, any changes you want to see made, or any suggestions that you want to make. I will put the link for the Discord in the description so you can join there, and I will be assigning people the role of Junior Varsity as they join in, and then that will let you talk in specific channels, and I will keep adding more roles as more people join. Currently right now, everyone just can be said as Junior Varsity, and there are some limitations on what you can do, but so far, they're not really that big. But yeah, this is mainly meant as a way of communication, because I know talking to us directly can be a little challenging, especially when... Not every message on stream gets noticed, and not every comment on every video gets noticed, because there are quite a bit of them. As you can even see on the analytics here, in 2016 alone, there were 264,000 comments. That also includes live stream comments, so stuff can get lost pretty easily. And this way, it's a lot easier for you to get noticed, and a lot easier for us to talk to you. And yeah, last but not least, I wanted to talk to you guys directly, just giving a huge thank you to all of you for supporting the channel, especially helping it grow to the capacity that it's at now. We're currently at, as of the recording of this video, 46,551 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I remember at the beginning of this year, when the channel was starting to grow quite a bit because of Siege, I thought to myself, I was like, okay, the goal is to have 25,000 subscribers by the end of 2016 and then 50,000 by the end of 2017. And little did I know that we we're already almost at 50,000 a month into 2017, which is absolutely insane to me. And because of you guys, I'm able to do what I love and show it or share it with you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. And I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.